In today's fast-paced world, developing 21st century skills are crucial for success in various aspects of life. But the question is, how? The answer to this complex question is quite straightforward. Playing sports is a great way to do this, without even realizing it, because it provides hands-on experience in learning. This is the second video in the five video series demonstrating fun sports activities that can help you improve important skills such as problem solving, careful thinking, communication and leadership. Every video is focused on one sport and related skills. In this video, we are going to learn how an activity like keep the ball can help us develop leadership skills. The video will cover everything about the activity, how to set it up, how to play, what happens next and a discussion at the end to understand how it went. Let's see. The purpose of this activity is to teach participants how an activity like keep the ball can help them learn leadership in a fun way which will be beneficial for both personal and work life. This game can be played indoors or outdoors but a basketball court is preferred. The time required for this activity is 45 minutes. You also need one basketball, cones, bibs and a minimum of six players to start the game. The facilitator gives five minutes to the participants and their captain to come up with a strategy for the activity. Each team's aim in the activity is to successfully pass the ball 10 times and also catch it 10 times. Participants can move around the playing area by dribbling the ball. If a team mistakenly throws the ball out of the playing area, the other team gets possession of the ball. If the other team intercepts a pass, they then have the opportunity to complete 10 passes. When a team successfully makes 10 passes, they earn 1 point. To score 1 point, a team needs to make 10 successful passes. The team that scores 5 points first wins the game. The facilitator can make the activity simpler by telling the participants to run while holding the ball in their hand. To make things a bit harder, facilitator can make a rule that participants can't throw the ball back to the person who passed it to them. The facilitator can also make a rule that participants can only move three steps with the ball. After the game, it's important to talk about what happened. This discussion helps us think about our strategies, how each person and the team performed. It's a really important tool to get better over time, learn more and improve how we play in the future. After the activity is done, the facilitator gathers everyone and leads a reflection session where everyone can share their thoughts. The facilitator wants everyone to say what they are thinking. To make the players comfortable, some easy and guiding questions can be asked like How easy or difficult did you find leading your team and convincing others to play as per your strategy? Did you encourage the team members to communicate with each other? Why? Did you pass the ball to every person in the relevant questions from the practitioner to probe further? Problem solving is a way of dealing with issues. It involves figuring out what the problem is, thinking about it and trying out different ways to fix it. This skill can be applied to all sorts of situations, whether it's a small issue like getting home when the bus is broken or a more significant problem where we feel uncomfortable and need a solution. Learning 21st century skills Learning 21st century skills helps us be prepared for what is coming in the future.